What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm sorry, guys. It was uh, absolutely crazy uh, because um, we we're trying to set up a live stream where we are trying to f live stream to Facebook as well as on YouTube, and we're trying to do some sort of multi-shot. I'm trying to arrange it. This is the first time we're doing it, so apologies for the delay. I know we are about 17 minutes late according to what I'm seeing here. So it'll it'll we'll catch up. We'll uh, make sure that we make it up to you guys and uh, we'll try and fix all of these things so uh, first of all welcome guys i hope you're enjoying your saturday and uh, for those who are out working i feel bad for you uh, i'm sort of working as well but i like my work so if you don't like your work then i'm sorry but uh, if you're at home chilling watching game of thrones or some other show that you're streaming live uh, by the way frequency on netflix i'm absolutely loving it so if you haven't watched it if you have netflix uh, you should definitely check that out. Okay, so uh, we've got a bunch of things going on uh, this week and uh, up until I load up my questions because it's right now uh, all this time was spent in uh, getting this live stream ready. So bear with me uh, while I get some questions up and we can take some questions. By the way, hi everyone. So hi to everyone who's here, uh, Vishal, Abhishek, Shantanu, hi. I remember you, Shantanu and uh, Vishwanathan, a lot of people are here. So uh, what's up guys, how's your day going? And uh, hi to everyone who's already watching us and apologies to everyone who is uh, unable to sort of uh, watch me earlier and I'm sorry for the delay. So let's get started. The first thing I would like to show is uh, I'm wearing an Igan t-shirt. Let me see where the camera is. You can see here, we've got Igan t-shirts now and uh, this is what they look like um, unboxed you can see my knife right here uh, so these will be available soon it took us a really long time almost about eight months to get the perfect t-shirt uh, so they're finally here and i'm super excited um, they're available in a bunch of designs so this one the unbox one is my favorite i'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like let me see if i can switch the camera real quick and uh, I'll have to really set this up. Give me one second, guys. Here we go. So, okay. So this is what it looks like. And, uh, whoa, what's this? Okay, this view is not the best. You can see that there is uh, this uh, the tag, the, uh, the clothing tag for Ayan uh, is over here. It's it's one of the best things. I use it as my luggage tag as well. And you can see this is what it looks like. It's available in a bunch of sizes from medium to large to XL, double XL as well. Oh, sorry about that. I'm shaking things a lot. Let me fix the audio real quick. I think it should be fixed now. So if you guys can see, I'm going to repeat what I just said. These are the IGAN t-shirts and this is the new tag. Uh, they're available in a bunch of sizes from medium to large, XL and double XL. And the packaging is really, uh, uh, really cool. Uh, you can see here, um, these bags are reusable. So if you do get these t-shirts, make sure you don't throw these bags away. Uh, so that you can be a little bit environmental friendly. I'm going to come back to the original clip because I'm having some issues with this close up. But if you like the t-shirt guys, big thumbs up. Uh, we're going to be making them available soon and uh, you should be able to get them soon as well. Uh, so we'll make sure that we leave links and uh, uh, areas where you can buy it. I'm still figuring it out where I should put them. I'm trying to speak to Amazon if we can get it going on Amazon. And uh, that is essentially what I am trying to uh, do over here. So let's start out with some questions. Now, Mohammed is asking, he needs a desktop for video editing. And uh, which one should he choose between the Microsoft Surface Studio and Apple iMac? So the thing is that I personally use an iMac. Um, and if you're using Premiere or Final Cut or Sony or any of those other softwares, it depends on what software you're using to choose what uh, product you're going to get. Um, if you're going to get the Surface Studio, it's more designed towards creatives who are going to do designing 
more than video editing. So the Surface Studio is more for people who are going to use their pen to sketch, to draw, to illustrate. Uh, so for those people, I think the Surface Studio makes a lot more sense uh, than the iMac. Uh, but if you're going to be doing video editing, if you're going to be using stuff like uh, Premiere and uh, Final Cut, or even things like iMovie for simple edits, I think uh, the iMac is a fantastic option. The new MacBooks are really killing it for Final Cut. Uh, even though they're not the best in terms of specifications available from uh, other manufacturers, uh, but I feel that uh, the Macs are designed for video editing. I keep losing this. Let me come back to that. So Macs are designed for uh, video editing, uh, at least if you're doing if you're doing Final Cut, etc. So that will definitely come in handy. Okay. So a lot of questions about best smartphones under X price. Uh, I'm going to do a series. I'm thinking of doing a series of best smartphones under different price categories. So Amit, you've asked what is the best smartphone under 18K. We sort of answered this question the last time as well. The Lamax 2 is possibly the best bang for money along with the Z2 Plus. Uh, but a lot of people are giving me bad feedback about the Z2 Plus. So I'm not too sure. But the OnePlus uh, 3, if you can afford it, is above 20K, but similar to the OnePlus 3 is the Lamax 2. Uh, so if you're interested in buying the Lamax 2, uh, I, that's a good option under 18,000 rupees. And we're going to be doing more videos uh, that will tell us what kind of uh, phones are in what kind of price and what are our recommendations. Of course, our recommendations are not always in tandem with your recommendations. So I'm going to see uh, what I want to do. Where's my juice? I lost my juice. I was drinking some juice right now. Okay. Minions are here to help me. I found my juice. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of, uh, again, it comes down to phone questions. I'm going to try and avoid them because it's very varied, but I'm going to do one more. So Hemang is asking, is the Samsung A9 Pro a good enough time to buy in the chaotic time of boom boom? I don't even know what that question <laughs> means. What kind of chaotic time and what the hell is boom boom? What are you up to? Uh, the A9 Pro is a fantastic phone. I think if you're not looking for overly powerful specifications, overly powerful uh, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, if you're not leaning towards benchmarks or performance, it looks fantastic. It has a good camera. It's built really well. It's got glass on, glass on the back and glass on the front. Glass. Glass on the back and glass on the front. So it, it, it looks good it's built well it's a large phone it's gigantic it's bigger than any other phones in those price bracket uh, in that price bracket not those in that price bracket so uh, i think the a9 pro is pretty good i'm gonna move on to some other questions now manish i'm gonna move this away it's troubling me okay now this is much better so how's your day going guys? Uh, keep leaving your comments. Uh, what kind of uh, things are you up to? What are you doing? How's it going? Um, do tell me in the comments. And if you like our live streams, make sure you leave a like. Thumbs ups are good. Um, Manish's question is uh, with USB-C being in the market for one and a half years, uh, why are OEMs not sticking with, why are OEMs still sticking with mini USB? or micro USB is probably what he means for a large chunk of phones. Now, this is a very simple uh, question to answer, but uh, the reality of all of this is uh, that you will really need big manufacturers to push USB-C as a standard. So up until Samsung, they tried to do it with the Note 7. Unfortunately, the Note 7 failed, so they had to recall it, but their next phones will come with USB-C. So main manufacturers, the manufacturers that use large numbers or ship large numbers of phones, sell large number of phones, uh, will ensure that people start moving towards USB-C as a standard. So when Samsung does it, when uh, other manufacturers in that price segment, Motorola has already done it, um, uh, Lenovo is starting to do it, uh, a lot of other companies, HTC has already done it. So as soon as companies start shifting, main companies start shifting, uh, then people and other companies will start following suit. Uh, there's also another thing with the Apple MacBook Pro, what Apple has essentially done is forced accessory makers and the industry to start manufacturing USB-C uh, tech. So if you want an external mouse, you'll possibly start getting USB-C mice. Uh, you'll start getting USB-C card readers. They're already available from SanDisk. So you'll start getting a bunch of things from uh, uh, other manufacturers, from uh, smartphone companies who start to manufacture USB-C 
uh, based smartphones. So automatically the industry will start switching and things will uh, start happening. What's happening uh, with Himang's question, I keep coming back to that. What the hell is a boom boom, Himang? I don't really know. There's only one kind of boom boom I know and I don't want to talk about it in a public forum. There's a question here. It's from Jasraj and it's a very uh, common question, an iPhone 7 or an S7 Edge. I think we sort of spoke about this the last time as well. So Jasraj, it's totally down to you. What, what phone looks better to you? What camera looks better to you? Uh, what features and what usability looks better to you? If you have a bunch of Apple things in your house, if you have an iPad, if you have a MacBook, then the iPhone 7, uh, more than a logical, it seems like a practical choice because of the way that it connects with all the other Apple devices. But if you uh, like the openness of Android, if you like what Samsung does with their UI, then you can pick an S7 Edge. Uh, they're essentially now very close in terms of performance. Uh, the only thing with the S7 Edge or Samsung products is their updates are really slow. With Android 7 being announced uh, way back in June, uh, it's now uh, November and a lot of phones are still struggling to jump up to the latest version of Android, whereas on the iPhone, mostly all phones get it at the same time, which is one of the best things. I think the latest software updates uh, improve on performance and take care of things that are uh, not right with the system, like security flaws, etc. So from that perspective, I think Samsung is sort of behind, but if you don't care about that, then Samsung or iPhone depends on what you like and what you should be going for. Um, what's next? Mahato is like, what's, how is the Watch Dog 2 gameplay? I've been playing that game. <laughs> I love it. I like Watch Dogs. Uh, second iteration is a lot more realistic, whereas the first one was slightly, uh, you know, like exaggerated. Of course, the second one is also exaggerated. It's a video game. It's supposed to be like that. But I think the second one is slightly more uh, believable. They also have things like 3D printing guns and all, which obviously doesn't happen right now. It does happen at an industrial scale where some people are printing 3D printing guns, but from a consumer scale where somebody just goes into a store, 3D prints a gun and walks out is not something that's very common. So from that perspective, I think it's a little exaggerated, but it's a fun game. Graphics are amazing. More questions coming in. Uh, a very interesting question. I get a lot of questions about how I got on YouTube and uh, what I do for a living and all of those. But this question is from Dhwani. Um, I hope I'm saying all the names right. It, the question says pros and cons of being a tech blogger. Um, when I started with this whole concept and I was possibly the first person in India doing this on YouTube, uh, the problem was that uh, a lot of people didn't know exactly what I was doing. So it was very difficult to explain to people what I was doing. And if you live in India, you understand that there's always everyone asking you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Beta, what are you doing? But I personally didn't ever care about what people asked me or cared about what they thought I was doing. So I did it. And I think the, the biggest pro about uh, being a tech blogger is that I get to play with a lot of interesting tech and I get to give my opinion on the tech. And a lot of people get to watch it and give me feedback on that. And that I think is the biggest pro of being a tech blogger. The con of being a tech blogger is that uh, there are still a lot of people who don't understand what you do. Even today in 2016, it's almost ending, it's 2017 almost. So there's still a lot of people who don't understand what you do. And I feel that once that goes away, uh, people can uh, sort of, being a tech blogger is, is not that difficult nowadays. I've seen a lot of new guys on YouTube. It's fantastic. Uh, when I started off, it was sort of lonely. Now it's overcrowded. But it's good. It's good for the platform. It's good that other people become YouTubers and uh, make this thing important so that everyone gets to know what a tech YouTuber is. And now a lot of people are doing blogs. A lot of interesting things is happening on YouTube right now. So I think it's fantastic. If you are interested in being a tech YouTuber, you should. Okay, I'm going to start moving on to some other questions. Uh, The Google Assistant feature, Aman is asking on Twitter if the Google Assistant feature of the Google Pixel is expected to come to Moto devices over an OTA. It's very manufacturer dependent. The, the Google Assistant will be available on uh, the latest version of Android uh, for a lot of phones. So once the phones start getting it out, uh, companies can es essentially choose whether they want to give the Google Assistant with their 
uh, software updates or not. So I can't really tell if it will come. Uh, but it's more hardware dependent for companies. So some companies might leave out Google Assistant and just give Google now so that you get good performance. Um, let's move on. I hope you guys are enjoying this live stream. Uh, Sandy, what is your real name? My real name is Bharat Nagpal, if you guys didn't know. So this is an interesting question yesterday uh, about where our office in New Delhi is. So for those who don't know, our office in New Delhi is at, if you didn't hear that, we had some audio issues. I'm sorry. Um, this is again, like a lot of interesting questions about what the best phone for uh, under 15K is gonna be. So Aman, I'm gonna do a video on a lot of best phones under X or under Y. So that'll be out soon. So stay tuned for that. I think that'll give you a better option or give you multiple options about um, what the best phone for X amount of price is. Okay. So there's an interesting question from uh, Neo Singh. Neo Singh? Neo as in Neo from the Matrix. Neo, uh, if that's your real name. Mr. Singh, the difference between the Snapdragon 820 and the 821 is that the 821 is a slightly more improved version of the 820, so almost like an iPhone 6S. So the 821, that's why it's just got a one and not a major upgrade like an 830. So the 821 is uh, a, a, a incremental update with some basic performance, heat dissipation improvements, uh, power management. So it's got improved power management, so you get excellent battery life. So depending on how the OEM will take the chipset and uh, convert it according to their uh, requirements, uh, this will affect uh, performance of the smartphone. <laughs> uh, somebody just asked if I'm married. No, I'm not. I'm single. I'm still mingling. Single for life? I don't know. But single at the moment. So unfortunately for you, all guys. <laughs> okay, what else is going on here? How you, uh, how are you uh, liking the weekend? There's a lot of uh, talk about the OnePlus 3. I can't find it, there's so many phones on the desk here. Okay, so the OnePlus 3T is uh, coming out on 2nd December. Um, uh, in India. Pricing wise, I'm not too sure what's going on. There's a conversation about uh, the fact that the price may actually be uh, more than 30,000 rupees at 32,000 rupees for the 62 gigabyte. Now don't quote me on this, uh, but 31999 is what I'm hearing from everyone in the industry. So I'm not too sure what's going to really happen. Uh, but if it does launch for that price, a lot of people I'm sure will be disappointed, which is not a fantastic thing. Uh, what do you guys think is the price of the OnePlus 3T and what do you guys think is going to happen? Um, Nokia is also launching their phones at MWC in Barcelona, coming back with Android. They're going to launch a phone with flagship uh, features, so hopefully the 835 chipset or the 821 at least and a 2K display, 4GB uh, of RAM is what I've heard already and they're going to have a uh, pure view camera on it. So it's possibly going to be the same camera that we saw on the Lumia 1020. It's going to be improved, designed with an Android OS uh, camera UI, and it should be launched for a flagship price. But Nokia flagship prices usually range between 30 to 40,000 rupees. So hopefully it launches for that price. I think it'll be a fantastic phone. And I can't wait for Nokia's comeback. It should just exist in the market. Even if it doesn't make like the best selling phones, I think it should exist. It's an iconic name and everyone, I think everyone's got some sort of affiliation or some sort of memory with Nokia. I think it's a fantastic thing that they're coming back with Android at least. Okay, so uh, we also did the top tech under 2K video and uh, I'm just going to switch and show you a little preview of that. So uh, this is what the video looks like. And uh, we recommended a bunch of things and uh, the minute we recommended them, the minute the video went live, uh, we checked and a lot of things just immediately went out of stock. So uh, apologies for those guys who missed those things. Uh, they're gonna come back in stock hopefully. I'm gonna shift so that you guys can see me a little bit better. So hopefully those things will come back in stock and the prices will be 
back to under 2k presently you can see prices from import uh, sellers so a lot of people sell on amazon and on flipkart by importing things from the us so they charge custom duties heightened prices uh, shipping charges to bring something that cost uh, 35 or 40 dollars in the us when they bring it here it's almost a hundred dollars so uh, don't buy it from them they're really expensive buy it from uh, domestic sellers once the products become available again. I think it's getting a little dark in here. Let's see if we can improve uh, brightness a little bit. I think that's much better. Okay. So Mr. Qureshi has been asking about OnePlus 3 software updates. They've already said that they're gonna give Android 7 out. Uh, I think they're gonna push it with the 3T launching. So once the 3T launches in December, in India uh, and everywhere else in the world, uh, the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T should get Android updates together. So I think for everyone who's asking for OnePlus 3T uh, software updates, uh, I think you should be able to get that. Uh, Soham asked if Lenovo will completely ignore the Moto G3 and the Moto G Turbo for the Android 7 update. I'm not too sure, but a lot of uh, phones uh, there's a full list of phones that will get the Android 7 update and a full list of phones that will not get the Android 7 update. Um, so you can definitely go check it out on um, uh, Moto's website. There's a list of uh, software update phones that will eventually get Android 7. So I think the Moto G Turbo is in there. I'm not too sure. You should go check it out. We've left a link on iGan.in uh, so you can go check that out. Okay, there's a uh, really interesting uh, uh, new take that we've done on our reviews uh, including the one for google pixel i'm going to switch to that right now and uh, so if you haven't watched the google pixel review you should watch it i think it's a fantastic phone if you want really good uh, android performance if you want the latest software updates if you want a smooth and quick uh, updates for android and day-to-day -day performance i think uh, the Google Pixel is one of the best things that you can get. Uh, but if you don't care about that and if you want an impressive phone, I don't think the Google Pixel looks very good. Honestly, I think it doesn't look as pretty as the HTC 10 does, which I think it's based around. But um, it still is a fantastic phone. It's built really well. It has uh, a robust antenna networks, everything. But I think you can get better Android phones, uh, better in terms of you can get good Android phones for much lesser prices. So I think the pricing is where they've essentially gone off. It's strange seeing me in there. So I'm just gonna switch back to this. So if you were wondering what that light in the back is, we've uh, covered it in the top tech under 2000 rupees video. So you can go check that out. It's a fantastic bulb. You can control it with your phone. Uh, let me see if I can pull the phone up and uh, show you a quick demo of this. It's pretty cool. The fact that you can change the color as you go and uh, 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 you can also put it on this music mode where you play music and uh, the bulb just changes colors randomly. I think that's sort of strange. Uh, but here, let me see if I can pull out the app real quick. Uh, so I'll just give you a demo of that. I think that thing is pretty impressive. It's, 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 it, it doesn't give you things like Siri. Uh, you can't speak to Siri and say, hey Siri, change the color to green. Uh, but I've got this app on the iPhone 5S. And you can see, ooh, purple is blue, green, red, purple, no blue. So you can basically change around colors. You can also get it to like a plain normal daylight thing. Uh, there are a bunch of effects. You can like, there's something called alien. So apparently this is an alien effect where it dims. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and uh, then there's something called firecrackers. I, it's called firecrackers i think it's stupid there's also something called police so you get police siren lights um i think it's cool yeah if you're in the mood for some love making there's something called romance if i tap that it's all lovely romantic hues i if pink and red is your romantic hue and there's also something called a music mode where in which if you turn on the mic i don't know if it's gonna work if i clap Oh, it does. I don't even have to clap. It's working to my voice. Guys, can you see this? It's so freaky. <laughs> I'm sorry that clap was really loud. <laughs> but I'm just going to change it back so that people don't lose the plot. Here, I think this 
color is pretty good. What do you guys think? I think this bulb is awesome. Um, you can, <laughs> we've left a link in the top tech under 2K video, so you can go check it out. Um, we're gonna also do a bunch of videos on speakers and headphones, and we're also doing a really interesting video that I've been working on for a while now. Um, that thing is blinking in the background. Yep, now this is good. Okay. So guys, uh, I think it's time to uh, conclude this. I again said uh, apologies for the delay in uh, giving you uh, this video. A lot of people keep asking me about Batman, but Batman is Batman. He goes where he wants to go. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be doing a bunch of other videos um, like I said, so th those will be coming out shortly. If you have any suggestions for videos, I keep getting a lot of requests for vlogs and tours and stuff. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys if I decide to do that. You'll obviously be the first to know. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in uh, the possibly next live stream, which is possibly next weekend. And you'll see updates for that on Instagram. And we are quite active on Instagram, so you can go follow us on Instagram, the ID is iGyan. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, the ID is iGyan. You can find us on Facebook, I think a lot of people already know where our Facebook is, it's iGyan in the username, or you can just go on Facebook and search for iGyan.in and you'll find it. It's the verified page. And uh, until I see you next time guys, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below, I'll see you in the live below. Okay, bye. <laughs> Take care guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace, or no peace. That is the question. <laughs>